Um, it was against Republic of Ireland. Yeah. The, Roy Hodgson was the manager. Yeah. We had we could use seven subs. Yeah. And he used six. Yeah. And you were the one that didn't come on. Yeah. <laughs> Which I find like, amazing. I can laugh about it now. I really can't. It's not like giving him away. Do you know what I mean? There's an England cap, but that still hurts me. It disappoints me that it didn't. I scored 18 Premier League goals for QPR team that got relegated. And to, to be rewarded with an England call-up was great. But to be rewarded with an England cap would have been... Capped off, literally capped off an incredible yeah. year for me personally but it just wasn't meant to be and I just think if that's one regret that I do have in my career throughout it would have been not did he ever speak to you as to why I mean I no, remember it not I remember at it. all I've not spoken to Roy Hodgson Roy Hodgson since you have big big decisions to make don't you as, do you as take England it personally manager. did I yeah at the time I did yeah because I hadn't I never had an explanation I wasn't there for the jolly up I no, was there course. because I deserved to be there I, I nearly got called up in March reason why I didn't was because Harry Kane did. Right, so look what he's gone on. But at the time, he was scoring goals for Tottenham in the Premier League, but also the Europa League. That's where he found his form um, and went on to score, for, was it like 30 goals that year? Mm. So it was what it was. But I just felt like I showed enough for club football to get the call up, but also enough to to be rewarded with a cap, I should say. When it happened, when the six went on and you didn't, were you embarrassed at all? Not, not embarrassed. I was so appreciative for where in the position I was in. But I was annoyed. Not embarrassed, I was annoyed. Mm. And he didn't speak to you afterwards? In the dressing room afterwards, he didn't come up to you and say, sorry, I didn't get you on, but things just weren't right? Or? No, no, how could it be right? It was nil-nil against Republic of Ireland. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? It was just, there was no explanation for it. Who were the strikers um, on the pitch at the time? Do you remember? Jamie Vardy. Um, I think the Rooney. I'm not sure who else was on at the time. But ultimately, it was more to be, it was for a friendly, and it was almost like to be rewarded for what you'd done. But I almost forced his hand. He didn't want to pick me. It's easy to leave someone out for QPR when you're in a team that gets relegated. That's how I that's how I looked at it. It's so much easier to leave a person out. If there was no Euros at the time, it was the under twenty one Euro European Championships, wasn't it? So mm. if Harry Kane was then, right, right, he would have been picked. I was fourth top goal scorer in the Premier League for a team that got relegated. Um I think was it Sanchez, Diego Costa and Sergio Aguero was above me, which is speaks volumes for well, so do you personally. think if you would have played for a bigger club Correct. maybe I top... think that, that goes against a lot of people that's going against Patrick Bamford right now why do you say that though because think... that's football snobbery mate that is the, that's just the way it and is. you think that snobbery goes all the way to yes, the, the, the England manager correct sometimes so... face don't fit so you think you didn't get on the fit even though you were, what, why were you called up to the squad then because we had to because it was only me and Jamie that got was there really that was, was fit because you had the under 21 championship going on yeah and there was no one really else. And you think that had you been playing for a club, even that would have survived maybe top 10, you would have got on the field? Yeah. That's really quite sad that you... you... That's that's football. I, I, I do believe that. No everyone would be saying, oh, look, it's like song. But that is, that is the be honest. Do you think that still exists today with the England manager? It's up and put, oh, I don't know. It's tough to say. You look at Bamford and what has he done not to be called up? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the way you got to look. What, do, you, do you think there's favouritism in the England squad? I and mean, the reason I To ask, play for the bigger clubs, yeah, definitely. What, what Eric about, Dyer's been called up, yeah? Yeah. Has he done enough to be called up? Or are you calling up because he plays Tottenham? Okay, well then why is someone like Trent left out? There you go, that's what I'm saying. Because he obviously has them decisions to make. And you do have them decisions to make. Is it, has he performed to the standards that he should do, Trent? That he hasn't. That he's shown before him. Yeah. He, he obviously hasn't. But there are some other players, and you've mentioned one, that by his own admission hasn't played to the best of his ability so far this season that, yeah. that has got called up so do you think the England manager or England managers have their favourites and they pick them up irrelevant at form yeah, I, 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 do, I do believe that maybe this is for Trent for example it's probably the rocket he needs to say listen you need to start performing week in week out to to be in my Euro squad mm. um, but I just look at it and other things people are favoured over it let's be honest Jack Grealish has only been called up to the squad what the last this season mm -hmm. he's performing on a different level for, for a while now so why is it taking so long to, to get it and there was so much chat is he isn't is he isn't he Jack Grealish should be in the England squad shouldn't he mm. should he start for England yes so if, if Bamford and Grealish move to bigger clubs no disrespect to Leeds and Villa yeah and I think a lot of the, no there's no disrespect but I think that's very I think that's out there I think a lot of football fans look at it like that. And if they I don't. I think football then... fans do, but I'm surprised that a manager would. I'm surprised that a manager wouldn't pick Jack Grealish because of who he plays for at the weekend rather than how good a player he is. But I'm speaking that on, on behalf of my own my own personal views, what happened to, to me. Were you ever advised to move to a club to get to no. further your England career? No, 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 not at all. You not weren't. At all. Would you, if, if players that we've talked about 
Ollie Watkins, of course, at Villa. Jack Grealish, you mentioned. Patrick Bamford. If they were listening to this, would you advise them if they want to further no, their England because career? they're doing stuff in their own way now. And and for Aston Villa and Leeds are on the on the way up. Jack Grealish is Aston Villa captain. He's going to be a legend there for mm. for the whole time and for the future. Uh, Ollie Watkins, Watkins is going to score goals for them, and Patrick but, Bamford's doing very well for Leeds. So, but it, they're going in a different direction. I, mean, I play for a team that was second bottom, and we was we wasn't very good. It was mm. as simple as that. Would you like to find out why you weren't put on that field? No, you don't. I'm going to close. No, what? I'd just rather just leave it. What? What more can I do? What are you going to say? Mm. What are they going to say? There were six, there <laughs> were seven subs, and six subs was made. Yeah, that's that's the be all and end all. Do you know what I mean? So what can you do? What can you do? That's my only disappointment, I think, in my career that I've had.